<laughs> so then guys, we're going to analyse um, this new condensing boiler as if it were brand new, we've just installed it and we're going to commission it. Okay. Now, using the manufacturer's instructions, we can find the flow chart of exactly what we need to do. And this is the flow chart straight out of the gas safe technical bulletin. Okay? So it's exactly the same procedure, step by step from start to finish. So we've already turned the analyzer on in fresh air, so we are ready to go. Now the first thing that we're going to do is the flue integrity check. Okay? And as it says in the manufacturers, we need to set the boiler to maximum. And we will also find how to put the boiler into maximum mode in the manufacturers. So I'm going to turn the boiler on, I'm going to put it into maximum mode. Right, I've got the boiler in maximum mode. So I'm now going to remove the test point for the incoming air. Okay? You can find it in the manufacturers, but if you take the wrong one out, obviously you're going to get products of combustion blowing at you. Okay? Now I haven't got combustion blowing at me, so I know that's the air intake. So I'm going to put the analyzer fully inside. I'm going to put the stopper in. I'm just going to pull it back slightly. So I'm now analysing the incoming air. So I can pop it on to O2. I've got 20.9% there. Now as it says in our chart and our technical bulletin, I must have at least 20.6%. So I've, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm fine. I'm going to pop it back to ratio and I'm going to read if I've got any CO2 within the incoming air. I shouldn't have any more than 0.02%. Sorry, 0.2%. Okay? I've got zero. So I'm happy with the integrity of the flu. It's already in maximum mode, so what I can now do is take the probe straight out and put it into the products of combustion test point. The boiler's already running, it's already firing up, so I'm not going to flood the analyzer with high levels of carbon monoxide. So I'll take that one out, same thing, all the way in, stop her in, withdraw it a little bit, and I'm going to put the oxygen one straight back in. <clears throat> now we can see already readings coming up on the display. So we're going to let that settle, we're going to let that stabilise. It should only take a few minutes. Now as per the manufacturer's instructions, I'm looking for less than 350 parts per million, and I'm looking for a ratio of less than 0 0.004. Now this looks like it's settled, it's not rising, it's not falling, it's just one or two either side. I've got carbon monoxide of 83, well under 350. And I've got a ratio of 0 0.0009. So I've actually got another zero. I'm well in here. Okay? So I'm happy with that in maximum mode. So now I'm going to put it into minimum mode. And we're going to analyse it in minimum mode. So you can hear the fan speed come down. We're going to let that settle again. As per the manufacturers, it's the same. 350 parts per million CO, no more, and no more than a ratio of 0 0.004. So it's just coming down, just settling. So I've got 24, 25 parts per million CO, well under. And I've got a ratio of 0 0.0002.
so it's well under our 0 0.004. That's performing exactly how I would expect it to perform, and we have met the commissioning procedure. Okay. Now, obviously, we can print that off if we want to. We can record it onto any paperwork that we need to record it onto. Okay. So, I'm going to turn the boiler off. I'm going to remove the probe and I'm going to let that clear out. I'm just going to let that settle back down again. Okay. <coughs> of course, you must remember to put the test point back in. You must make a logical a note in your memory that you've put that back in. Because you will be driving on the way to the, to the next job thinking, did I put it back in? Okay. So make sure you put the test point. Any questions? Okay, good, good. Right, so you need what we got on there.